Hi, welcome to the series of DevOps and in this series we will try to understand more insight about different different tools like Jenkins, Maven, Tomcat, Git. Now, I am not going to uh, very deep down in the tool, but just trying to give you the glimpse that what these tools are doing and how we can integrate them together to create a real time things. And in and our course, we will go with more details about those about things, but let us go and talk about the components the in hand first. Components in hand first. Jenkins, what is the Jenkins? Basically, Jenkins is a very powerful CI CD tool. What is the CI CD? CI CD means continuous integration and continuous delivery. That means whenever the code is get changed, the change request has been submitted to the Jenkins. Jenkins will take that code, it will analyze the code uh, via Maven, either it will go with the compilation phase, it will go with the test phase, it will go with the packaging phase. And once the packaging is done, Jenkins can deploy the code onto the Tomcat server. So, here is the flow what we are trying to go with that. Okay. So, basic flow is we are going to see a developer is a developing, he will put the code into the git. Automatically then it should go to the Jenkins. Then Jenkins will go and compile, manage the code with the Maven and once it is finished, Jenkins will go and put that code into the Tomcat. And that we need to do very frequently during the development phases because the developer that is the pain point of the developer. He changed one line of the code, he want to test it, everything is working fine. If yes and no, he can immediately check the effect and he will able to go along with that. So, he do not have to waste his time in uh, going with all the phase again and again. So, that is what is we are going to see and this is what is generally say as we are building the pipeline and we will go with that. So, we understood what is the Jenkins. Now, what is the Maven? Maven is basically a build tool, is a build tool in a nutshell. Now, what is a build tool? Basically, build tool will help you to do lot of things like validation, compilation, testing, packaging, installation, deployment and so on. So, Maven is a very powerful tool which are used in the Java project. Now, there are a lot of tools in parallel like Ant is the tool, but and is like a little bit old fashion, we have to go with the very hard coded and manual things you have to do. Uh, so, in a nutshell, if you try to get the differentiate between the ant and the maven is like, ant is like an RPM, you have to do everything by hand, but maven is like a yum, automatically it will do lot of downloads and configuration stuff, lot of dependency check it will get, it will download and it will work with that. So, that is a maven, we will go with that. And what is the Tomcat? So, Tomcat basically is your Java based web server. It is a container, servlet container, Java based web server. So, all the Java things you can put in that and you can try to execute and it, it will be able to work. Now, what format you need to do? You need to go with the dot var format that is a web archive. So, we will have our uh, web project. We will say that I want to do the web development web project and we will able to work along with that. So, that is what we will go with the Tomcat and lastly but not least we are going to use the git. Now, what is the git? Git is a source code management tool and all the development codes will be get stored in this particular area. Now, there are a lot of parallel tools are available. So, let us go and what are the say the what are the things that we can see in the parallel tools with the Jenkins in the market we have Hudson. We have Bamboo, we have Team City, and so on. With the Maven, we can say that Ant is one of the tool in parallel. In the Tomcat range, we have JBoss, we have WebSphere, WebLogic, and so on. On the Git arena, we have a lot of tools. We have the SVN, and uh, we have some commercial tools like a Perforce. We have ClearCase, and so on. So, a lot of tools are available in that parallel way. Now, in our project, we will go and we will have the project. Let us go and see that. So, this is my project that currently I am working with. So, let me clean it first. I will say I mean clean and I want I do not want anything in my project. So, first I will make it clean. Everything is fine. Everything is good and we will go with that. So, Maven have a lot of places. That now, when you say Maven clean, basically it is removing all unwanted garbage files from my area. If I go with the tree structure now, you can see that 
this is my simple uh, web app project. Now, we are creating a web app out of this and how we know that though we will go with the configuration file and we will see that. So, the bomb.xml that is a project object module is the important file in the project and it will define a lot of necessary things. So, we are saying that my project output that is artifact is the candy crush project and the packaging that means what is the output we are expecting we are output we are expecting here is a var file. Why we are looking for var? Because we want to deploy that var file into the tomcat server and that is why we are looking for the var file. Now, let us go and see what is there. So, I will say source main web app and index dot gsp. Now, you can see that there is a hello candy crush version 1.0 already we have and we already have that version available on our Tomcat server. So, let us go and see that from the Tomcat perspective that what we will try to go here. Now, here we go. So, we have a simple uh, project which is already implemented on the Tomcat server. So, you can see that hello candy crush. So, whatever the input we have given here we have the output on our website there. Okay. Now, we basically we are going with the Tomcat, a lot of uh, things are available under the Tomcat. So, this is the Tomcat web application manager, I have logged in into that. Now, at the back end we are using Git. So, here is the software and here is that what is in our revision control. So, it says we are going with the version 1 and that is what we are able to see here as a version 1 we go with that. And last but not least we will go with the Jenkins, so there are a lot of jobs are available. Now, in reality we have broken the main build process build job into three phases. So, Maven compile, then Maven test and Maven job. Now, what Maven compile will do? Maven compile will do a static code check, it will check the syntax error and it will convert that your dot java files into dot class files. And in your project there may be hundreds and thousands of java files, it will convert into dot class files. Now, Maven pack, uh, Maven test. So, what is the next phase is the Maven test. What the Maven test will do basically it will use that dot class file it will make sure that the dot class file is correct or not and it will put some test cases against that. So, you can use lot of test cases in real, real time you have hundreds and thousands of test cases running along the line. Uh, Let us say uh, for example, you have a calculator program. So, you have written some functions with the calculator like add subtract, division, multiplication. Now, what this test will do? Basically, this test will do that hey my testing with the add function is adding the numbers correctly, the division function is div dividing and getting the results correctly and you can check some errors like divide by errors and if some mistakenly if the user gives the value 0, are we capturing that value as a error or not and so on. So, you can do lot of testings with that and once you pass the test, you will give that code for packaging. Now, packaging means all the packages like dot class files, the scripts, you will package in the bundle like jar, var, ear and stuff. In our case, we are packaging that in the dot var file and the dot var file we are expecting to automatically get a deploy on to the Tomcat server. So, let us go and see the practical. Now, we hear what we have, we have the version 1 and we have our Jenkins job which is already available for us. So, what we will do? We will change the code and then we will work with that. So, what I will do? I will go and change the code and then we will see that it should automatically start my job there. So, it will trigger the job and it will work with that. So, let us open the file src main and then we will change something here. Hey, a header is we have some headers and we will go with that. Hey, I want to go along with the line and we will go with that. So, I will remove that. I will say welcome to DevOps. Mm, I will go with that. Welcome DevOps. And in the body tag, uh, basically uh, we will give uh, some message in the body tag saying that, hey, I want to give some message and I will say, hey, we want to have this version. So, our current version is v 2.0 because we are going to deploy the version 2.0 on that. So, we should be able to see that hey welcome to the DevOps it will go to the header and then we will say our uh, current version is uh, 2.0. So, let us go and see that. So, I will save that file 
and when I say git uh, add and we will add that file here in our git and we will say git commit iphone m we will say hey we are committing version 2.0 and we will go along with that. So, we are committing that. Now, what we have to do? We have to push this to the server. Now, what has what is going to happen? Let us go back and visit our diagram. So, when we are going to push that uh, it will go so that uh, developer is now developed. Now, it, when I say git push it will go to the git server and then git server automatically starts the Jenkins job. Let us go and see the push first. So, let us go and see that. So, automatically it should happen that automatically we should have that and we will push that. So, I will say git push when you origin master. So, I am pushing the code version 2 to the server there. Let us go and I will give the username and its password and once we, I give the username and password it should go and push the code and it will start the job automatically. Let us go and see that 1, 2 and 3. So, we will go here, I will go back and you can see now here. Now, you can see here with the build, you see that automatically the job compilation started. Now, this compilation job will automatically start and it will go and it will trigger the test job and the test job is finished automatically it should trigger the package and package once it is complete automatically it should update our Candy Crush version. So, after that we will see the new version available on that. So, let us go to the Jenkins and see that how our job is working. Okay. So, now we are going with the test job. It is performing some kind of tests and once it performs the test and if it is successful it will go to the next job uh, to the packaging job. Now, test is happening. Now, once test is happening it should go to the packaging. So, let us see if confirm that testing is correctly happening or not. And once the testing is happening, it should go automatically to that. Yes, so we can see that package job has been in the queue. That means that has been successfully happened. Now package will job will start immediately. Yes, so now that you can see that the packaging job has been started, and we are working with the packaging. Packaging, packaging is happening. And once the packaging successful done, it will go and it will go with that that the packaging how to see that the details that hey is my job is successfully has happened or not. So, you can see that the blue color and everything. So, let us go and click on that you see that. Now, the packaging is having blue color everything is good. Let us go and see the console and confirm that my job has been happened. So, I will go here I will go to the console and we will see that the packaging happened or not. Let us go at the bottom. So, we should see something yes. So, you can say that first it has uh, with the deploying it is a redeploying that means it was found the original version 1 now it is going uh, undeploying that and then it is deploying the new version on that. Let us go and see that really it is happened let us go and see now here I can see the 1.0 and I will uh, refresh I should see the latest information if I click on that and here we go. So, that is what is happened. So, I will say welcome to DevOps and we are on the version 2.0. So, this is how you will do in the real time. Now, real time you will have a lot of jobs, a lot of process you have to trigger the jobs and it should automatically go through the entire process from the git to the Jenkins. In the Jenkins it will go with a lot of jobs like compilation, testing, thousands of testings and then it will go with the packaging and once it is done the packaging directly it is putting those packages onto the Tomcat server. Now, there are various different ways of deployment. This is the one of the way we have deployed. So, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, thing idea that how the idea flow that should how be, the flow should how be, the code how the code has the been changed, how it has gone, gone, gone to the Jenkins, Maven, and ultimately, and ultimately it has gone, gone to the Tomcat server. So this is a very very simple. So this is a very very simple project. Project. In, real time, in real time, we can go and in our code, in our code, in depth of all these details and details and the flow. That is how we. That is how we will work. So thanks for joining. Thanks for joining the series. Keep on watching our Keep on watching our series and hope you will have good fun. Good fun. Take care and have a nice. Care and have a nice time. Bye bye. Bye bye.